Hi, I'm Rocco Stano, and welcome to Story Makers in the Kitchen. And with me today is my friend Tom Engelberger. Hey, thanks, Rocco. Yeah, thanks for coming. And we're going to have so much fun here in this kitchen today. I, and I think we will, Rocco. Thanks for helping me out today. Yes, I can't wait. These uh, recipes are in your book, uh, Didi Dodo books, right? That's right. Uh, each of these books has a, a recipe in it. Um, the whole, way the whole thing got started is in my Inspector Flytrap series, there's a character named Coco Dodo who runs a cookie shop. And I wanted to do a spin-off series, and so uh, Jared Chapman, the amazing guy that does the vegetables and underpants books. Right, right, right. Uh, he's so amazing. He's do doing this Dee Dee Dodo series with me. So we took Coco Dodo, the baker, and we teamed him up with Dee Dee Dodo, Future Spy. Future Spy. And they have these crazy adventures together, but each adventure involves cookies. Oh. And each book has a recipe in it. And I want to teach you one of those recipes today, Rocco, but first I want to warn you about something. What's that? Remember, these have been scientifically formulated to appeal to birds, snakes, hippos, not necessarily to you oh, or okay. me. So you may not end up liking the finished product as much as the characters in the book do. Okay, well, let's let's see. So we're going All to right. make our uh, recipe, and what's that recipe? Right, so in the second book, they end up, well, not only do they have to fight a robot dodo, robot but there's dodo. also, as you can see in the background, a sea monster is menacing their city. So what we need is a recipe that's gonna to appeal to a sea monster. Right, and so what's this recipe called? It's called Coco Dodo and Robo Dodo's fish and chocolate chip cookie recipe. Fish and chocolate chip uh, cookie? Yeah, oh. yeah, fish and chocolate chips. You never, oh. you never heard of fish and chips? Um, uh, fish and chips. Right. Oh, boom. Yes. Right. Well, a lot of to show you how to make it, then it'll all make sense. Yes. Okay. All so right. what are the ingredients? Well, I've kept it real simple. Our first ingredient is going to be um, a cookie mix specially made for making cookies in a mug. Okay. And we but have that. we are not going to be satisfied with that. We need a secret ingredient. And so, I and I have this. You one. have it? Do you yes, have it? Let's I, see what it is. It is tuna a, fish. It's a can of tuna. But the uh, tuna, there's something that they have to uh, be aware of. What right. Now, if you'll tuna? notice here, we've got our tuna is in water. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. We don't want any extraneous ingredients in there. And you'll see why in a few minutes. So we have uh, the uh, mug cookie. Right. And we have tuna fish. Simple, right? Two. You can handle this. I think I can. All right, if you'll knock that box open for us. Yes. We'll get busy on this. All right. One packet of. All right, so we've got the packet of our chocolate chip cookie mix here. Uh -huh. This is the easy part. We're just gonna open that up, put it right down in our mug like that. You can see the chocolate chips in there. Mm. Now, if you'll read the back of the box, it's gonna tell you to put water or milk. Right. That's not what we're going to do. We're gonna put in tuna juice. Tuna juice. So if you will. Tuna juice. Yes. If Did I've you got, say tuna juice? I said tuna juice. Okay. So uh, Rocco, if you will use your can opener and get our tuna open. You don't even need to get the lid all the way off, uh -huh. just enough so that the juice can come out. Then you, oh, it smells like tuna. Does it smell good? Oh, good. All right. Now, the tuna is going to stay in the can. You can save that and have some lunch with it later. Okay. But now you're going to pour in, into my spoon here one. Oh, look at that. That's looking pretty good, huh? Mm. Looks kind of uh, creamy. One. Okay. Okay. Two. Two. You might have to start squeezing it a little bit to get it all out. Three. I'm sure I can get one more out of here. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Squirt a little extra in there. Yes. Just uh, just put a little extra in there oh, for us. It, oh, it, it, oh, yeah. it seems, oh, yeah, that looks great. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use my teaspoon here to stir this up. It's going to be so delicious. You're going to want to eat every bit of it. So make sure it's perfectly mixed up there, Rocco. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. Is that looking good to you? Okay. It's looking. Oh, that yes. looks good. But again, don't eat. As good as this looks and smells, don't eat the raw cookie dough, Rocco. Okay. We've got to cook this in the microwave first. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to scrape everything back down in the bottom. I'm going to put our spoon aside for now. And I'm going to take this over to the microwave and give it a little uh, cooking. And that's the way to the microwave. We just 
put it in for a minute and here's Tom with it. Hey Rocco, here we go. It's hot and ready. I used a pot holder just in case the mug got a little hot there. Right. Now, if we were serving this to a sea monster, we'd scoop it all out and serve it nicely. But since you and I are hungry, let's just grab a spoon. Right. And uh, just dip right in there. Okay. All right, are you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> how, how do you like it, Rocco? Well, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a sea monster. That's oh. all I have to say. It's a little warm. It's actually, it's an acquired taste. It's not that bad, really. No, I mean, really, if, if it yeah, was nothing yeah. else in the house, you could eat this. It's the the little bit of salt <laughs> that really adds to it, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Well, that is, mm, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm a little disappointed that it didn't gross you out more. <laughs> It makes me think maybe I should unveil my top secret recipe, which is guaranteed to gross anybody out. Well, let's do it. You want to try it out? Yes. All right. <laughs> Here it is, the debut of your latest recipe. Right, and Rocco, this really is top secret, so don't go telling everybody No, now. Uh, my okay. lips are sealed, as they say. All right, so this is the recipe from the book that's not even out yet. Uh -huh. It'll be the third one, and it's called Double O Dodo. Double O Dodo. Right. Yes. And there's big trouble down at the fair, and they need every animal in the entire fair to come running, right? Well, when you're at a fair, you've already got corn dogs. This is true. Right? And if it's a good fair, you've already got cannoli. Okay. So they decide to mix the two and create the world's first cookie dog. Whoa. Of course it works. All the animals come running. Now, a little hard to make all that at home, so I came up with the recipe for mini cookie dogs. Would you like to see how it works? I'm ready. All right, one of the best things about mini cookie dogs is you get to choose the flavor when you pick out what cereal you're gonna use. Now, right. we've picked out some Fruit Loops here, but you can pick out whatever kind of cereal you, that, you, that you want. But it has to be colorful, right? It should be colorful and loaded with sugar if possible. Oh, of course, yeah, so that's <laughs> our first ingredient is a colorful cereal. That's yeah, right. A sugary, a sugary cereal. Right, yes. and as long as we've got sugar, yes. our next ingredient is gonna be confectioner sugar. And here we add, do you know how much? Right, well, it's gonna be a half a cup of confectioner a sugar. And cup. just be sure, Rocco, that you don't get regular sugar. No. Because then you'll just end up with a wet hot dog. Okay, <laughs> this, you need confectioner sugar. Okay. Okay. We have sugary cereal and some confectioner sugar. Half a cup. Yes. And then we yes. need, uh, our hot dogs. Oh, oh. Uh, since these are mini cookie dogs, we're just going to use little Vienna sausages. They're little tiny. Look how oh, little yeah. they are. Oh yeah, it's yes. going to it's going to work out great, Rocco. You mm, ready? Mm, you mm. ready to get to work? I certainly am. First thing I need to do is load up this bag with some fruit. Loops. My pleasure. Here All we right. go. Yes. Load it up nice. there. Okay. And colorful. Yes. And sweet. All right. And a new. You are making a mess, oh, Rocco. That's okay. okay. That's, that's enough. That's enough. Could you move the? Yes? Okay. Well, I don't want you messing up the whole kitchen, Okay, Rocco. okay, there we go. I can <laughs> move right. that out of the move way. Move that out of the way. We've got our Fruit Loops in a sealed plastic bag here. Right. You're going to use the Vienna sausage can as a rolling pin. Just turn it on its side and roll it back and forth like this. All right. Now get to work, that. Rocco. Get that stuff crushed oh, up Oh, look good. at it. Look how See powerful how it, it is. it turns into a beautiful powder. That beautiful powder is going to taste great on... Uh, on a meaty Vienna sausage. Oh, no, Don't nice. you think? Some canned All meat. Right. Yes. Like I said wait, earlier. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, yeah. Oh. Flip it over. That's great. You're doing very good. It's not my first rodeo. Here we go. Here do we they, go. Do they have cookie dogs at rodeos, Rocker? Well, they will now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rocco. You're doing good. All well, right. Wait, wait, there's, wait, I'm, wait, wait, wait. That's one. Oh, okay, 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 Rocco. For your own safety, I'm gonna ask you to stop. Okay. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get a Vienna sausage out. We're just gonna pop the top on this. Th that's convenient. And ooh, ooh look ooh. at that Vienna sausage juice. We might we might need to use that for another recipe. Yes. All right. Let's see if we can get one of these out. Sometimes it's well, hard to get the first one out. Can we just go like this? Okay. Oh, now no, now no, that we, we got we the first one. The now that we got the first one out. Yeah. You're gonna take your straw uh -huh. and just. Spear one of those Vienna sausages oh, with okay. it. okay. Right down in there. Now see if you can gently lift it out. Very nice, there you go. Now of course you could just go ahead and eat it just like that. Good enough. <laughs> but don't. I won't. Because we're gonna now make the wonderful 
icing for this, okay? okay? So what we're gonna do, we'll just uh, set this aside for a second here. I'm gonna get you to put the whole half cup in there. Very good. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this two tablespoons of hot water. Now this is not boiling water. This is water from the tap. Right. It's hot, but it's, it's not gonna burn anybody. Now we're gonna start off with two. We're gonna start mixing that up. Let's see. If two teaspoons weren't enough, we can add uh, just a little more. Just add a tiny bit at a time until you get it nice and gloopy. Okay? Now that it's nice wait, and- Wait, nice and what? Gloopy. Gloopy, okay. Okay, yes. now that it's nice and gloopy, we're gonna take our sausages on a stick. We're gonna get them down in here. Uh-huh. Okay. Because we are going to coat these with delicious Fruit Loops powder. So you just open up your bag, put the stick with the cookie dog on it, get it in there, shake it all around. Oh boy, Rocco, I'm getting excited because look how delicious this oh, looks. Oh, that looks beautiful. Can the folks at home see how beautiful this is? I think it might be even more. I think you got a little extra sugar in there, so yours might be even better. Ooh. Okay, yeah. you're out of control, Rocco. You're. <laughs> Wait, 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 there, there there's some you're, more right there. Now yes. you're just trying to scoop up pure sugar. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh, there it is. There they are. Do you dare? Of course. All right. One, two. <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> if you're gonna eat it, why do I have to eat it? <laughs> well, Tom, it's your recipe. All right, okay. okay. One, One, two, two three. three. Mm. Briny. Mmm. <laughs> It's the savory taste of the meat mixed with the uh, fruity taste of the Fruit Loops. Pretty good, don't you think, Rocco? Yes. Uh, did I say yes? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this book is the title of this book. The title of that book is going to be Double O Dodo. Double O Dodo. And of course, Dodo. the whole series is called Dee Dee Dodo Future Spy. Okay. A well, recipe in every book for you, Rocco. I can't wait. And may this <laughs> series go on and on oh, and on. I don't know. I think three. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, I don't know, but thank you for coming and sharing uh, your Didi Dodo uh, books and recipes. Well, thank you, Rocco, and, and thank you for your help and for your bravery yes, and actually well, thank tasting you it. so much. Oh, remember, until next time, have fun in the kitchen and read a book in any format.